How's it going guys? Got a little project here of piecing together a mower out of these two. And uh, just this uh, trash pick thing I got a couple few years ago. And uh, it's rotted out. Let's see if we can go over here a little bit. It's rotted out pretty bad. And also the wheel is now, it already rusted out and I welded it up last year. And you see here what's going on with it. It's all leaning sideways. And then over here, um, this one isn't trash picked. It was actually, uh, I said something about trying to find another deck for that motor right there. And uh, my neighbor said his parents had one that's locked up. So, uh, yeah, we'll take the motor off of this one and put that one on. But... My wife wants me to paint it. I said something about painting it, and uh, she's like, well, paint it pink. So, uh, given that she uh, mostly is the one that mows the grass, so, sure, why not? We'll paint it pink, and then also, to make it so it holds up nice, we'll use this as a base coat. And then we'll use a 2K clear coat on top of it, and it'll make it hold up real super nice. It'll be like you bought it that way. Alright, so we'll start off with tearing this thing down. I got a load of scrap ready to go so that deck can go on the scrap. And uh, so that's kind of why I'm actually taking off with this project today is because I want to get rid of the deck. Because I got a load of scrap ready to go. But there is a few things I want to get off of this motor, or engine, before I uh, let it go as well. It has a nice muffler on it and it has this dipstick set up see here rather than just having a little cap well here's my backup I'll show you it you know it just has this little cap I'm not sure if it's a, there might be a dipstick on that as well yeah I think there is a dipstick on those but it's just a little harder to deal with because it's down along the side well, this is our backup mower we I just used it but the thing about it is one of the mulcher ones and it just runs so low to the ground. In order to adjust it down to the height you want, it's constantly dragging and catching on the stuff. One thing I like about these mowers is that they're 22 inch. It seems like a lot of the ones, if I went to the store, I'd have to spend 200 and some dollars just to get this extra two inches. And then oftentimes it has features on it, like that one there with the mulcher stuff. You know, it was meant to have a bag on it. In order to get 22 inch, most of the time you got to get one like that. Um, just so happened this one here is also a 22 inch, so that'll be real nice. You know, the extra two inches don't seem like much until you make several trips down the yard and it does add up. Alright, so well, let's get started. Took that dipstick feature off of the locked up motor. And the way it looks, I believe it'll fit right down in this guy. And look, it even has holes already pre-punched in the cover. Yeah, that'll go right on there. Sweet. Hey, I got the plastic cover off here to discover that it has a conventional top on it. It has a hole right here for the cover to snap on, but... Probably a nice recoil right there that I could save for something else that you know would end up needing it. Yeah, I think I'll save this carburetor too. It's a Dollar Tree the other day and I seen this uh, WD-40 like stuff. I'm gonna try it out on these bolts because uh, this one right here was hard to get off every single turn. I mean, oh my gosh, pretty rusty, but I mean, gee, many whiz. So, that's what this stuff does. Alright, we got the motor, a good motor off the old junk deck. And we got the motor and the wheels off of, and the uh, guard off the good deck so we can paint it. And I saved the gas tank, the muffler, the coil. And get the old muffler off, the good motor. This thing is gone. There's like no, usually like a baffle in the middle of it, like a piece of piece of metal that the exhaust has to go around and it's gone. So I poked a hole all the way through with a screwdriver to get it to come off. 
But, uh, well, it's just to get ready to paint that thing. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention the uh, Dollar Tree lubricant stuff. It seemed to work pretty good. It was a lot easier getting the rest of the bolts off after using it. And... All right, I've sanded on this thing about as much as I'm going to sand on it because it, it, it's just a lawnmower, you know. I could go buy... Uh, a 25 gallon a paint stripper and go to town on this thing and maybe even sandblast the whole thing with a $25 bag of sandblasting sand um, got the bottom of it with the wire wheel I'm just gonna put you know, several layers of paint in here and probably not clear coat the bottom but uh, I blended in the, the best I could with you know the areas that you're gonna see but uh, you know, that's about as far as I'm gonna go so uh, we'll get some paint on there and uh, see how it looks all right unloaded an entire can of flat black in the bottom of it it's gonna call it a day with that and then the top of it I'll clean it up with alcohol so that way it gets any rid of any oils and things like that on the surface and then we'll go with the pink well, I have a little bit of issues with comp paint compatibility. Um, I had a can close to this color. I think they called it watermelon, but it was Krylon. And then I got this can of this stuff, and uh, they're not compatible together. I started off with the Krylon, and then went on with, finish it off with this. And there's, you can see it, uh, it's peel, it's, I, wouldn't, I don't know if you call that orange peel. Orange peel to me, I'll show you what. Alright, it's pink. Uh, but I had some problems with the paint. And I'm most part of it was, I think the can, the can of paint is old. But to start off, I used, um, there's paint compatibility issues. Plus paint being old. Uh, you figure something this color is probably not going to get sold at the store very much, so, you know, who knows how old it is. But anyways, I started off with a can of Krylon. I think it was called Watermelon. And this is just called Pink. But anyways, and I let that dry for a little bit, and I went back with this stuff. And immediately started doing... See, we got cracks in the paint. It's like it's literally lifting... It was lifting the previous layer got some more right there and then it's kind of like a rough it's kind of rough in spots because the paint I shook this for quite a while but the paint was literally coming out of the can textured so I mean you got some really bad texture right there going on plus the you know the lifting problem so I'm gonna bail on I'm going to bail out on clear coating this because it's already got some compatibility issues. I go over and try to clear coat this. It's, it's liable to just turn into a complete disaster. And as it is right now, I mean, I stand back from it. Even, you know, if I was pushing the thing around, it has a shine to it. it uh, if you get real close to it, it looks like crap. Uh, I'm just afraid that it'll just get worse with the clear coat. So, well, we'll just put it back together the way it is. Well, I got the wheels back on it. It's definitely, uh, definitely different. And I got the uh, engine on there and the kill switch line hooked up. I had to change the kill switch line. Um, this one here was shorter. It must have had a different kind of a connection point on the, uh, well, this would have been closer to this kind of thing going on. And then we got our, uh, new used muffler and uh, let's see what else I took off a linkage off of this that it was for a variable speed and uh, I wasn't using it before on the old mower so I just removed it I just set it where I wanted it and then bent this over cleaned up the air filter as good as possible I actually went through a couple different ones to find the best one and cleaned it up as good as I could. And now uh, there is a little bit of oil in it, so it will catch dust. Painted this cover. I was going to paint the engine cover, but changed my mind, so I don't have a nice clean air filter cover anyway. Hi. 
Okay, so about finishes this video up. Seen it running in the last take. And we did take it down over there and mow a little bit. Still debating on whether or not we like the lowest setting or next to the lowest setting, but uh, uh, I don't think it's going to drag as bad as that thing over there. But uh, catch you guys later.